All right, guys, I want to show you a technique to make uh, ribs that are not circular in shape. If you see my other rib video, I'll link it to the end. You know, we generally use the pipe command, which creates obviously circular pipes for the most case, um, depending on what pipe command you're using. You could do triangles or you could do squares, but with this technique, you can do any size, shape, kind of height, depth you want to do. So let's jump right in. So I've created basically half of, again, a creature body. You can use any size, kind, type of body you want to use here. It does help um, if it's only half, the front and back half, and then we're also going to end up splitting it um, vertically as well, or you know, whatever way this is, this XYZ plane, okay? And then we're going to get rid of this body over here. Yep, the backside body, okay? So that's how we start. Half your body front to back. Again, I'm assuming you're gonna make it symmetrical. You could probably do this with um, a full body. Uh, I haven't tried it yet though. All right, so what we wanna do now that we have half and half of our body, we're going to draw a sketch on this XY plane here. And we're going to draw a line kind of just like we were doing in the other rib video. And again, we wanna make sure that this is long enough to cover the back of this thing here. We're going to create a rectangular pattern. Move it. I'm just going to do three today. You can do however many you want. Something you might want to think about is changing it to spacing. If you're good at math, you know, you can figure out how much space you need between each rib um, based on how wide you're going to make the rib. It's a lot of math involved. So I usually just wing it for the most part. Finish sketch. We're going to create yet another sketch again on this plane and we are going to project to surface. This is my surface. These are my curves. Projection type is a long vector and the vector is this red line here. So I should get these nice lines. That's how you know it's working. You get these nice lines kind of wrapping around that surface. Okay, so now we don't need that sketch anymore. We are going to create yet another sketch. Might've been able to combine those projection sketches. Let's see, actually. Let's edit this sketch. And um, we're going to do another project. And I'm just gonna project this line. Yeah, okay. There we go. That saves us a sketch there. Okay, so now I have my circle rib things and I have a line that represents the top edge of my lower body. Okay, so now I've projected my curves and I've projected the edge of my body. Now I'm gonna draw my ribs. So what I wanna do is make a construction line, just like that. And that's kinda of gonna be the, the height of my rib. Let's just make it silly, make it 5.3, okay? And then, Let's see, you can do any kind of shape you want it today. I'm going to do, so I don't want that construction. And then I want to connect it down here, probably. And you can play with this if you want. That or like that. Whatever you want to do, right? That's the kind of point here. One thing to keep in mind, if you're going to make some really outrageous ribs, the venting could get more difficult depending on how your mold is laid out. So just kind of be careful and do a lot of testing, hopefully with a 3D printer before you try to inject it or commit to a CNC mold. Okay, so then what we wanna do is we wanna create another pattern. And this is where if I would have been smart and would have paid attention to the distance that I did when I did my rib pattern, it would have come in handy. So the big thing here is select direction and select your projected line for your body of your mold. And then I selected both of these for the outline of my rib. And I'm just gonna pull them along here. And for me, I'm gonna eyeball it. Again, if, if you paid attention to this number here on your distance, or if you did them by spacing, a very specific spacing, um, you would be much better off than I am right now, just eyeballing it. And then just click on okay, and finish sketch finally. Okay, so now we have our ribs, we have our rib outline and we're ready to go to the big part, which is the sweep. So we're gonna create a sweep. We're gonna select this profile. I like to select the, the underneath profile. You can usually get away with just this profile up top here. 
this just gives you a little extra leeway when you bring the body back in and join them together. Um, it's probably unnecessary, but that's what's what I like to do. For our path, we're gonna select this guy, boom. And there we go. Okay, and then we can just click new body is fine. And there we go, bring our sketch back and we're gonna wanna do the same thing all the way down the line. Okay, sweep, path, boom. Sweep, path, boom. The sound effects are very important that you say boom when you collect the path, otherwise it won't work. All right, now for me, our main body back in. You can see we have some quite outrageous ribs here that are a different shape than the normal pipe ribs would have been. And at this point, I simply combine everything together and then just throw a mirror on there. Mirror. Make sure we're on bodies, this body, this plane. Boom, join them. Now we got this big old body. Then to make the backside body, we just simply create another mirror. This body for the plane, I just select this end of it here, join them up, and boom. Now obviously, if you don't like this little intersection here, you can do something different. You know, maybe you move this all the way to the end, something like that. I don't know, man, you do you, right? I tend to leave my middles kind of blank, but the, the spacing isn't right here. But that's not what we're talking about today, bro. We're talking about the ribs. And there you have it. So again, you can make any shape you want. If you want to make very angular shapes, if you want to make super tall, thin ribs, that's how you would do it. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. All right, guys, hope you learned something today. Take care, tight lines. If you want to see the way I normally make ribs, click here. If you want to buy some super cool lures, click here.